I've now connected the signal generator to the oscilloscope and moved away from the calibration connection. I've selected a sine wave, which gives us some, something a little more interesting to look at. We now have the trigger position for our oscilloscope. We can see the T. We're on the rising slope, which is a forward slash for channel 1, and we're looking to trigger at 4.48 volts. And I can move that voltage level so that we get to a point which is above the input voltage signal coming in and the oscilloscope will lose its ability to identify a suitable trigger position and the picture is going to move all over the screen. Coming back down to being within the parameters of the scope to pick up that position and then as I lower the voltage at which we're going to trigger so the oscilloscope triggers at a different part of the voltage pattern. So if I get my trigger position to line up with the vertical, we can have a more accurate look at where the voltage is set and where it's actually triggering. So as the trigger point on the vertical line is moved, so the sine wave will move in sympathy with that to start its cycle from that vertical position when the voltage of the trigger meets the voltage of the incoming pattern and then we slip outside the oscilloscope can't fix itself so the voltage pattern runs uncontrollably across the screen. So now I can move that trigger point if I wanted to move across the screen if I wanted to see more detail of what was happening and fix it from the, my reference so as I could see a bit more of the voltage pattern after the trigger that may have some merit with the sine wave as long as we've got one complete cycle on the screen that's normally good enough.